the Sunlu Fill a Dryer S1. Is it worth it? I think so. My name is Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So Sunlu recently sent me this Fill a Dryer S1 to check out for the channel. I really appreciate that, and all of the opinions in this video are my own. They didn't pay me, they're not sponsoring the video, they just sent the product, so I would show it off, and that's what we're gonna do today. So a lot of people have already done reviews on this product. Brian Vines, Just Vlad, Modbot, all them plus more have already done reviews on the Filler Dryer S1. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna pop it open, let's get it out of the box, let's check it out quick. But before we do that, I wanna tell you this. They just put the Sunlu Filler Dryer S1 on Kickstarter. I believe it went live yesterday as of the timing of this video, and it is just about fully funded already. Before I go anywhere with this video and show you what it looks like and how it works, I do think if you're looking for a way to keep your filament dry while you're printing and you have room on a shelf above or next to your printer, this thing will do great. As Brian Vine showed, it actually dries moisture out of the filament and you can see that by the way he weighed the filament before and after he dried it. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with some TPU and what I'm gonna do is drop it on my social media and show you guys the before and after weight when we get there. But for this video, really all I wanted to say in the beginning before I did anything is that this thing is actually a really good product. A bunch of people have reviewed it, they all like it, and I've talked to a few of them and they really do think it's worth the money. What kind of money you ask? Well, as of the filming of this on Kickstarter, it's currently only $35.99, but there's only 40 spots left for that, and I'm pretty sure those are gonna go pretty quick. But the next bump up, which is a super early bird price, is only $40.99. Just to throw it out there, they are not paying me, I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. I just think this is a great product, and if you can get it at the price that you see on the Kickstarter right now, it is definitely worth it. I wanted to get this video out quick tonight to actually tell you guys about the deal, because I really think if you want it, it's a perfect time to grab it. I believe the retail price is gonna be around like $80, $79.99 or something like that. Um, I did not confirm that with Sunlu, uh, but I think that's what it's gonna be. There's a two pack backer for $79.99 and there's a six pack backer for $229.99 if you wanna check out that. For $40, this thing would be a great way to dry filament, even if you just get one. Uh, that's why I wanted to make this video quickly tonight. Um, I have been planning a very in-depth video for this to print and test it and print, but here's the deal. Right now is the time to get on board if you want the cheap price, and I didn't want this video to wait any longer. So with all that being said, check out the Kickstarter link. I'll put it uh, right here under me, and I'll also put it in the description of the video. Um, go to the Kickstarter if you're interested. Grab it for 40 bucks. Um, if you're one of the lucky 40 still, it's $35.99, which is an amazing deal for this thing. Um, for a full filament dryer that has a roller, uh, timers, temperature settings. But moving ahead, let's get this thing unboxed and see what it has inside. All right, this is the box it comes in. It looks very nice. It's packaged really well. And I believe this is pre-production, so it could be a little bit different than this. But this is what it should look like or very similar to this when it gets to your door. Uh, it is packaged very nice. It has a little carrying handle, if that matters. Some of the specs on the back of it. Some of the specs of this thing is that it's compatible with multiple different filament rolls. Uh, it's temperature adjustable. It has a timer function, so you can set a timer and let it go. It heats up quick, and it's supposed to heat up really evenly when you listen to everybody else's reviews. Well, let's get this thing open. So when you look inside, it's got some foam here. It's really light, and it also comes with the uh, little instruction manual here. Everything is wrapped, as you see here. So we'll just uh, tear this thing open. Once you get the wrap off, uh, this is what it looks like. It actually looks really cool. Um, I really like what that looks like. It looks like a great design. It looks sleek, and I think I could definitely see this next to one of my prominent 3D printers. Um, it would make it look really good. So it opens up like that. Inside, it has foam packed. That's a very smart idea. Not only does it keep it good in shipping here, but it houses the uh, power cord. We'll toss that. It looks like it's a 24 volt power cord, so that's pretty standard. 
you know, about four feet long total. So you may need an extension cord depending on where your power is. Hopefully the power is not too far because your printer's plugged in close too. It looks like a very big instruction manual, but that's because there's a whole bunch of different languages on here. In the instructions here, it actually gives you tips for best results. It tells you uh, temperatures and time limits. Um, for our, for example, for the TPU we're going to be drawing, it says use 48 to 52 degrees at three to six hours to get it dry. Probably weigh it, we'll run it overnight, and then I'll weigh it again in the morning and we'll see where we're at. I know Brian Vines already did a video where he proved that it actively took moisture out of the filament uh, via weight. So I don't think I need to repeat that. Um, and a lot of the guys did some great videos. Like I said, Brian Vines did one, uh, Just Vlad did one, Modbot did one, um, 3D Printing Revolution did one. Uh, there's a bunch of them and you can actually see them all right on the Kickstarter page if you wanna check it out. So on the inside here, um, you can see, it looks like the heating element is down on the bottom and it wraps around to heat evenly. On the sides, it's actually insulated too. So it keeps that heat in there. So when you take a spool and you throw it in here, it'll actually allow it to heat evenly in here. And that's really cool. The other cool thing is it's got rollers inside and it rolls really nice. That's actually a really good thing. It's not gonna get hung up while it's pulling the filament through. Um, it looks like you can either do the filament through here or through here, there's a little plug. I got the power cord plugged in and just so you know, the power port is in the back and it's right here. We're gonna just plug that bad boy in like that. We're gonna hold the front button here and turn it on. So the first thing you notice is that the LCD is a little bit dim and I hope that they fix that before they ship everything. Uh, it's not a big deal because you're really not gonna be staring at it anyway, but some people said that it was too dim and they prefer it to be a little brighter. The cool thing is it fits all sizes of filament from 175 up to three. It also does 35 to 55 degrees Celsius heat. It, and it runs from zero to 24 hours. So their idea of this is that it dries the filament before you print with it and it keeps it dry while you're printing. There's a lot of different solutions to this, but I really do think this is a great entry level way to get into it for the money. I do think this thing has a lot to offer. If we look at the front display here, we can adjust the temperature by pressing the button. And if we hold the left button, it goes to time and we can actually adjust it uh, time-wise from there. And then we hit the left button again, and then it goes back to the main menu. It tells you what the temperature's at, how much time is on there, and it'll start running. So it is getting really warm inside of there, and that's great, because that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know what else to say about this thing uh, that hasn't been said already. I'm gonna link everybody's reviews in the description below. I know this is kind of a weird one, but I did not want to take uh, a whole bunch of time and make the same video that everybody else did. What I wanted to do is jump on, give you guys a heads up about the discount you can get right now in Kickstarter. Again, I don't have affiliates with Sun Liu. I don't get anything for sending you guys to the Kickstarter. Uh, this is just me saying, hey, this is a great deal. You guys should jump on it because I really do think this could help out quite a few people, especially with like PETG, uh, TPU, nylon, any of those filaments that are uh, more susceptible to grabbing moisture. This is gonna be a great way to dry them and then keep them dry while you're printing. Again, I base this all on all the reviews I've seen. I am gonna be testing this now going forward, uh, but I did not wanna waste any more time. I wanted to get you guys out there so you can get the best price on this right away. And I'll update you as we go. So this isn't really a review video. This is more of a, hey, this is a great product. Uh, check out everybody's reviews that already did reviews, but you can get this right now for a great price video. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna grab the scale. I'm gonna grab my TPU roll. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna throw it in the box. We're gonna cook it. And then tomorrow on social media, uh, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook, uh, YouTube. You can find me pretty much everywhere, Instagram. Um, I'll put the results in, but I really think if it's anything like any of the other guys had, you're gonna be really surprised on how much moisture this actually takes out of the TPU. So let's do it. All right, so I grabbed my uh, kitchen scale here. I turned it on and I set it to grams. I grabbed my TPU here. I'm gonna set it right on here. And what I got right now is about 1,387 grams. So this TPU has been sitting out uh, it has not been dried in a lot of months. I probably had it for at least nine or 10 months. 
Um, so we're going to see how the Sun Lube Box does. And I will update everybody tomorrow on social media. So check that out uh, tomorrow sometime during the day, probably in the morning. We'll update what this thing actually came out to. Currently, 1,387 grams. Let's find out what it goes to. So once again, check out the Sunlu Filler Dryer S1 on Kickstarter. The link is in the description below. I hope you learned something today. If anything, I hope you guys pick up a great filament dryer. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of filament dryers and your experience with previous ones. Um, but I think you're really gonna like this. I think this thing's gonna do great for Sunlu and I think it'll do great for you. I hope you learned something today. I hope you grab one if you want one. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button and the bell right over here if you guys wanna get notifications every time we go live on Monday for Hot Makes or when we put a new video out. There will be another video on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. The filament is in the dryer. How much moisture is gonna come out of it? We'll find out tomorrow.